Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, digitalassetlife.blogspot.com, a free site. Today is Friday, December 31st, 2021. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Nothing I say here should be construed as investment advice. This is offered simply for entertainment purposes only. The last 72 hours in cryptocurrency have been as volatile as it could get. Right? Many, many cryptos, not just Bitcoin, have been jumping up and then dropping down. Right? Just like my daughter here in the background, right? Jumping up, popping up, and then, you know, disappearing. Well, if you're concerned about the fact that most of these cryptos, most of these exchanges are uninsured, right? They don't have FDIC insurance behind them. Well, what I want you to do is to be aware that because of a unique arrangement with a bank, the crypto exchange Voyager, V-O-Y-A-G-E-R, actually has FDIC insurance for its U.S. dollar deposits, right? If you have it in the form of a cryptocurrency, right, Bitcoin, etc., you're uninsured. But if you panic, let's say you hold Bitcoin on the site and you decide to liquidate the site, right? Liquidate the holding and you convert it to USD, right? US dollars. Then, hmm. I don't know that one. Cool. Then, believe it or not, you have FDIC insurance up to $250,000. For more information, visit investvoyager.com, right? Again, it's investvoyager.com. It's unusual in the world of crypto, but just understand that if the volatility has gotten too much, if a speculative play has you deciding to liquidate a position, and if you're concerned about the safety of your money and you want FDIC insurance. Just know that on Voyager, if you sell all the Bitcoin in your account and you hold it in USD, United States dollars, right on the Voyager exchange, you actually get up to $250,000 worth of FDIC insurance according to Voyager, a public company itself, on its exchange page, investvoyager.com. It's worth a look. By the way, you can find the exchange on Google Play Store. Thanks for stopping by.